Is it possible to work with our SQLite database and databases in general using only Visual Studio Code? So if we only have a simple SQLite file, do we really want to go ahead and download a whole full-blown uh, software, database software, or a SQLite editor just to be able to work with that SQLite? Um, well, maybe not. So maybe we could try to use Visual Studio Code and a simple extension to work with our SQLite file and we'll see how that workflow looks like in this short video. Well, to start you off, you definitely want to have Visual Studio Code uh, installed and open. And the next thing you want to do is to go to the extension tab. So this is the fifth icon from the left. This is extensions. The shortcut is Shift Command X. And once you have, once you're in the extension, you want to look for SQLite. So all you need to do is to search for SQLite. And uh, this is the one that you want to be installing. So if you haven't installed it, you'll see a green button that says Install. So click on that button. I already have that installed, so I'm actually sitting the set, um, looking at the settings, the manage icon instead. So once you have SQLite installed, well, let's go back to the file. So right now, we need to first create a .sql file. Actually, we have a uh, loan.db. That's the database that we have, that we've been using for uh, the entirety of this series. So what we want to do now is to basically just click, uh, hit on the, open up your command panel. So this is shift control p or shift command p so this is actually shift command p and let's see uh that's gonna be i believe run well just shift command p a command palette okay so you can also do that from view command palette view command palette from the top menu so shift command p and you say SQLite and you say open database. So there's a few options here once you've installed the SQLite extension. Now you can see show output, refresh databases, quick query, new query, close database. Now what we want to do is to use the open database. So we click on that one and it asks you to point towards uh, to, to the database. And here we have the data underscore input loan.db. That's the database that we want to be working with. So we're going to select that. So up, down, select that. And once you have that open, And once you have SQLite Explorer open up, and that's because you just did, again, what, what do you do? You said open database. So this will open up the SQLite Explorer and you will initially look at this database. So you can click on this to expand it and then you see all the tables that are in the database. We only have one table and it's called records. But if you have multiple table, then you will see each one of them, right? And here, this one will basically shows you the table on your right and this is a uh, huge so may instead of doing that we're going to use our select command to do that because this is quite huge and it's not rendering that uh correctly right no problem so what i want you to do next is i want you to go up there and create a folder and just call it uh, sql so i'm going to do that create a new folder call it sql okay now it's done rendering but you can see this is a pretty huge database you can see 887,000 rows of data on 877,379 rows of data and you can see these are the columns um, and you can scroll take a look at that so we essentially are using Visual Studio Code like a uh, sort of like a, a database explorer tool so we can visualize uh, how it looks like for the most for the most part I don't actually recommend doing that I don't actually use this to view the entire database uh, too much unless it's a very very small uh, you know, maybe a few, a few couple, couple hundreds of rows. That's okay. But for, uh, for, for any kind of database uh, beyond that size, I probably don't do that. So I want you to go back there and create a new folder. Once you're in, the, once you have a folder, I want you to create a new file. You can name it anything you want. I'm just gonna call it 001.sql. Okay. So 001.sql. And once you have 001.sql, you can essentially start writing your command, your SQL, your, your SQL statements in here. So, um. Following what we did, we can say select, and we can say select all. Select all from what? From the name of the table, and here the name of table is records. So we're gonna do that. We don't want to print the entire thing though, so we want to just say limit, and say let me be limit five, and then put a semicolon. If you want to format that a little bit, you can do that as well. And now, how do you execute this command? Well, all you need to do is to save it, and then open up your command panel again, and you can do that using shift command p or shift control p and then now instead of open database you want to point to run query so run query sqlite run query you do that press enter and bam 
Now, you can see your query being executed and you have your data return on the right hand. So you can continue to do all the other things that you've seen uh, up to this point. So if you've been following that video, you know that we did a few other things like order by and stuff. So for example, you can add a order by clause and you can say order by, let's find um, annual income, loan amount, whichever one. So let's use loan amount and oh, we can put the descending order. That's it. Limit five. Run it by going to SQLite run query. There is also a shortcut for that. And that's Q, right? That's uh, control shift Q. So if you don't want to keep doing this, you can actually save that and then you can say command shift Q stands for query, run that and whoops, sorry. Let's see if it's a command shift Q. Yeah, so run query and then now you have this sorted out in loan amount. So you see the largest value to the lowest value. Uh, in descending order for, 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 for the re return result. So that's kind of how you do it, right? So very simple, go and download the extension right now and then you could use SQLite Explorer right here or you could just write your query and then use the, sh the command panel to execute the query. In the results panel, there is the SQL, this returns, this is the return result. If you have something huge, let's say you have 20 and you return all the columns, let's go ahead and execute that query, run query, now there will be 20 of them and you can you can scroll around using this or you just using your mouse you can also pag paginate it so if there are multiple pages you can paginate it you can jump to different pages you can also look at the raw, raw query that you wrote to get this result so you just have to click on this one this icon and it will tell you that okay this is how, what you wrote select all from records order by loan amount descending order limit 20 so you have all of this directly in the SQL panel. Now, how do you close a database once you're done working with it? So all you need to do is to open up the command panel again and you can go to SQLite and you say, close database, so that's the one. So close database, we just close the database and you will not, um, you can, if you wanna resume working with it, you can follow the same process, open the new database again and uh, uh, make the connection and continue on from there. And that's about it. So I'll see you in the next video.